Hi everyone and welcome back to another BN Golf vlog. It was nearly freezing today and I was not allowed to play from the normal white or yellow tee boxes. However, the course was open as long as I teed off from the junior tees. So in this video and in the next two parts, I will be trying to get the lowest score possible from the junior tees without using driver, as the mat and the ground are so frozen that I can't even place a tee in them. Obviously, the course is going to be a lot shorter in total than normal, but will it be that much easier as well? I'm wondering how low I can go from these tees, so let's find out together. I started at the first tee with my tree wood, which I don't think I will be using a lot today. The first hole still counts as a par 5, although it is a very short one, as I am playing from the junior tees. As you have already seen, I've hit a pretty decent tee shot, followed by a Duffy second shot which left me with another 59 yards to the pin. And from there, I've got my approach shot pretty close and have this left for birdie. So let's see if all that putting practice I've been doing lately pays off. Hmm. I leave that one short. I hope this will not become a theme today. Oh well, starting with a par is always good for the confidence. Even though something in the back of my head is already screaming that I had a pretty solid birdie chance, which I neglected to make. Anyway, the next hole is a par 4 of about 340 yards with a 90 degree dogleg to the right. Everything left is out of bounds. So the strategy here is to aim at the big solo tree at the right side of the fairway and carry it beyond that. Let's see if I can make this work. Yes! right where I wanted it to go. Now that I find myself in the middle of the fairway, I should try to capitalize on that with a decent approach. I have about 137 yards left, so I should be able to get it close with my 9 iron. And it looks like I did. Surely I can shake off that birdie miss on the first hole and just be relaxed and put this one in. Nope, still left it short, although I'm getting closer. After that second missed birdie opportunity, I will let the next few holes play and hope on some improvements.
After that decent chip, I have this last left to save bar. Surely I cannot leave this bar put short, can I? Yes, finally. So after those three, those missed chances on the first three holes and a pretty decent par save on the fourth, I find myself at the tee box of the fifth. It is a 321 yards long par four with a strong dogleg to the left. Leaving it short and left of the tee is a no-go, as I will have to cover some big trees to get a shot at the green. Ideally, straighter to the right of the fairway is the way to go here. And here I find myself in an unusual position. I didn't take into, a, into account the effect of the junior tees here and hit it through the fairway, putting myself in a tough spot. I have to go over the tree right in front of me to get it on the green. Luckily, I succeeded, and yet again, I find myself with a birdie opportunity. Surely, after the previous good par save, I will not leave this one short? Ah, right, in my dreams. After the fifth par of the day, I find myself at the tee box of the sixth, which is the second par five of the course. It is 388 yards long from the junior tees and involves treble left and water ahead. Placing myself in a good position of the tee is a pri priority here, to give myself a chance on a decent approach. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. And again, the shorter distance of the junior tees has surprised me, and even though I have a good angle towards the green, I do find myself in the thick stuff, which also happens to be frozen, but the cold never bothered me anyway. <sighs> So I find myself just a bit short of the green, however I think I have a good chance to chip this close and give myself yet another birdie opportunity. Surely I should be able to make at least one today? And yes, that was a more than decent chip. I will knock this one in, no doubt about that. I just need to take my time, breathe, focus, breathe, focus, and leave it short. Well, that was a very good first six holes, but also very frustrating. Anyway, if you want to see if the birdie drought continues, be sure to check out the next two parts. Maybe I will finally succeed to knock one in. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and if you enjoyed these videos, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.